So a few days ago, I shared this post on YouTube where I was talking about technologies which will be present in the next 30 years. And I called them like forever technologies. And this is just my prediction. There can be more, can be less. And I think SQL, JavaScript and Linux are the forever technologies. And why I'm saying that? I was actually reading this book by Morgan Housel. It's called Same As Ever. I would highly recommend reading this book. It's really good. And in this book, like topic says same as ever. This is a book around like things which will be true forever. And I was thinking like maybe in terms of technologies, what kind of languages, what kind of like technologies or like what kind of paradigms which will be forever. And I found like SQL will be forever because every single device, if you are on your Android or your iPhone, that's running SQL. If you're watching this video on a computer, you, it's just running JavaScript and the servers are running Linux. So these three technologies will be forever, like 30 years at least. And you should learn them. I mean, invest in those technologies, invest on those things which will be staying forever. And this isn't limited to just tech. If you're, if you're from, let's say, a non-English speaking country, learning to speak English is such a great way to be employed, to be self-employed, because you'll be able to get contracts from people who have more money, right? People in the West and they can hire you. So in order to get hired, you need to speak the language they're speaking. And most of the Western countries, they're speaking English. So learn things which will pay you dividends for years. And in the book, he talked about like Jeff Bezos. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Jeff Bezos or anything, but like, so when Jeff Bezos was starting Amazon, he thought like, which are the things which will be forever true? So few things are forever true. Customers will always demand lower price. Second, customer will always need more options. So instead of spending time on making a fancy website, he spent most of his time on these two issues, like adding more and more options of same, same product or similar products, right? And giving them an option to have lower prices so that if they compare that to let's say Walmart or any other shop, like they should get comparatively lower prices. So these are the two things he focused on that. And he built all his business on these two premises. So you can build your career on some few technologies and you can learn a lot as well. But if you, if you spend time and learn SQL or JavaScript or Linux, I'm not saying you have to learn everything. I'm just saying you can pick either those or maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing, uh, I don't know, like I need to think about what I'm missing, but these are the things like I found, like these three things. If you pick any of these three, you'll be set. And I'm saying mastery on that. I'm not saying just like doing like SQL once in like five years. Oh, I did, uh, I did I like how to do some SQL commands. I'm not talking about like go deep in those technologies, go deep in Linux, go deep in JavaScript. If you can do that, you'll be fine. You'll be fine for life. No way AI can replace you because you will be the person like who will be responsible for solving those things which people can't think about. Like Jeff Bezos was thinking about some of the few right things which his competitors were not thinking. They were probably thinking about like how to make their website look pretty good. Like even today, Amazon, if you go, if you think about this, like two, three trillion dollar company, you can make a better looking website than Amazon. I can give you guarantee, but that's not the point. Bezos knew that like making a fancy website is not the point. The point is to put products so people can buy it and he will be able, if he can deliver those products to their doorsteps in let's say one or two days. That was his goal and he fulfilled it. And then he is getting those dividends every day, every month, every year, right? So this is just an example and you can learn those forever technologies. You can learn those forever things and those are not limited to tech. Yeah, so I just wanted to make a short video. So if you want to read, you can read this book, same as ever again by Morgan Housel, or you can read his podcast. He's pretty famous on YouTube. You can just type his name, Morgan Housel, and you'll you'll see a lot of uh, podcasts like he's he's been talking. And then I think he has pretty good advice, financial advice as well. Uh, so if you want to learn more about that, please read his book. Uh, that's it from today's video. Thanks a lot for watching.